Um, what I want to go through, this is within the nice little diagram for today's event. Um, I fill in the little bit here with uh, the city bus logo at the bottom. Um, hopefully many of you have gotten a familiar with the city bus smart card and it's one of the activities which we've worked through ISSR working with city bus and working with other um, bus operators and train operators uh, throughout the country. What I wanted to do was to outline the wider aspect of sustainable transport and the ISSR, how it's come about and how we've built it up uh, since the start of the ISSR as a concept uh, a couple of years ago. Um, back in 2009, we brought a project to the university and said, look, there's a small little bit of money here uh, within um, one of the regional agencies. We'd like to do some research, but actually we'd like some university assistance and we found a very positive, supportive uh, environment within the university. That initial 20,000 uh, research was looking at supply chain systems in the public transport sector, in particular um, of public transport ticketing, and how, whether or not there may be a business case for bus companies, local authorities, to actually share architecture, share infrastructure to generate uh, efficiency gains. The research said it might be. That rolled on to further research in terms of, well, OK, if there might be, develop the business case. And again, that was progressed through uh, Plymouth University here. Having established the business case, the business case said, yes, this does work. So we go away again, get additional funding through grant support, and actually go and build the specification. And cutting through uh, a long story within the five minutes, since early 2010, uh, ISSR and the partnership arrangement we have, we've succeeded in generating just under seven and a half million pounds of grant funding, um, which has come through the company that we base within the university, and indeed over six million pounds of match funding from commercial partners, and we'll outline a little bit of what we spent it on. So from a standing start through ISSR and the support we've had from the geography department, uh, and business uh, departments as well. We now have three full-time staff here at the university and we commercially sponsor a full-time PhD student, Alison, who's here today, who's doing excellent work on smart card ticketing. Um, great benefits here about linking together the commercial side with the academic side, not only in terms of revenue generation, but most importantly, data for additional research to enable us to explore in other areas. So within the last year, these are the sort of organisations we've been working with on a daily basis, from government, large-scale consultancies, large-scale trade bodies and companies, right down to smaller individual local authorities. We've now put smart ticketing in and are rolling out smart ticketing at the University of Bristol, University West of England, University of Bath uh, and the like as well. So we're quite active with uh, quite a few organisations. The core areas that we actually deliver through sustainable transport within the ISSR, um, not only areas like the PhD, but also doing applications. We've got an application in at the moment um, with some very clever people in the uh, computing school to look at um, developing apps for um, geolocating transport um, for the youth sector, which if we are successful, will be a great project. And again, we selected Plymouth as being the, the pilot area here in partnership with the council, in partnership with City Bus and the Youth Parliament. We do a lot of work at the moment in supporting government in reviewing some of their policies for them on sustainable transport, particularly in the field of um, ticketing. It so is the national body that sets the standards for multi-operator ticketing, because as I'm sure you'll be aware, if you've got a smart card on City Bus, actually there's no guarantee that smart card will work on first group, will work on target travel, will work over in Cornwall, and what we do through it so is develop the technical platforms that enable your Plymouth City bus card to work on those operators. That's done through the organisation, the company we set up, Southwest Smart Applications. I'll, I'll come back to that in a minute. And by and large, the majority of the funding that we've uh, been awarded is to roll out activities here. I've touched upon the rollout with the local support that we do, be it at... Um, ongoing projects with Plymouth Council or through other academic institutions. We're particularly pleased about that. But also 
to pay the bills uh, we do take on and deliver uh, through UPAL um, here at the university, commercial activity. We do consultancy support to different companies. We did some work on the, uh, the West Coast Mainline franchise bid last year for First Group, which they won, which was great. And I panicked, hoping it was nothing that I wrote that had uh, helped them to succeed in that bit. Um, together with organisations like Bristol Council and the major scheme rollout they're doing um, at the moment, and we, we help out there uh, to bring in the money to support it. So in terms of the main activity that we do, this is through the, the company based in ISSR. We now have over 65 partners signed up to this organisation from national right down to very local. We're providing and supporting over 2,500 ticket machines on buses to enable a multi-operator system to operate. And we've generated 19 multi-operator products. So, you know, a city bus card with a particular product on it would be able to work across uh, multiple operators. And we cover the whole of southwest England. And indeed, we've been selected as a national managed service pilot for Norfolk, which is great. So that's being monitored through the Department for Transport. And this comes back to the very beginning. I, Paul was hassling me for a very quick title um, a few weeks ago for today, and I said, well, 50 million eco journeys, because we provide all the back office technical architecture to enable the journeys to work on the buses. And I thought, I'd better go away and check in case I've been over-optimistic. It turns out we're now on track this year for just over 95 and a half million journeys, which we will be processing through our uh, back office system. And putting that into context, that's a million, uh, within a million of First Great Western and all of their operations for the whole of their business. So within two years, we've gone from zero to 95 million transactions going through um, back office platform that we have. Um, and again, it's the data that that is beginning to generate. Yes, commercially sensitive in parts. We hope we want to build on through the research agenda. So where do we want to go? Um, Building on not just smart cards, not just the bus sector, but actually taking the processes we have learnt, understanding where complementary um, research exists and engaging with other researchers through the university and in wider partnership. And we're very pleased to be doing that. To go out, find additional funding, additional resource, put together partnerships, and through ISSR, that is delivering the forum to enable us to do it, and we'd be welcome uh, discussions with anyone on new transport-related ideas and then to expand, um, not only within the UK, but also pick up this from a wider per, uh, perspective globally and within the EU, being very much led through the PhD work that Alison is doing. And it is me. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you.